The perceptions of faith. Both Charles and Myrtle Fillmore demonstrated a high level of spiritual maturity in their written words and teachings. In his book, The Revealing Word, Charles describes different perceptions and meanings of faith. On the surface, we believe that to have faith is to believe in something. Cecil did the following research. Charles and Lowe, faith so, is more than mere belief. Your mic? And, yeah, just this. You're on. I'm on. Okay, you're good. Uh -huh. Sorry about that. <coughs> Charles wrote that faith is more than belief. It is the very substance of that which is believed. It works by love. Thoughts of condemnation, enmity, and resistance must be released. And divine love declared, then faith will work unhindered. Myrtle also had something to say about her faith and beliefs. Cecil found at the back of a Unity magazine a short article that Myrtle wrote in 1897. Notice the firmness. Myrtle wrote several affirmations on what she doesn't believe and what she does believe. Most importantly, she wrote, faith understanding and love are becoming one in my being. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. We also wish to present an entertaining, constructive, progressive, and educational parable describing what might have taken place when we, as spirits, came upon the gates to planet Earth. Cecil and I will play the role of guardians of the gate to planet Earth. And Claude will play the role of a typical innocent spirit wanting to explore the bounty of planet Earth. Welcome to planet Earth, spirit. My name is Yin. Oh. My name is Yang. We are the guardians of the gate of planet Earth. What is your name, dear spirit? My name is Sol. I was on my way to infinity when I came across this planet. I could not get close to it, but I observed from afar the beautiful colors, the four-legged and crawling creatures roaming around, and other creatures swirling around in what appears to be liquid areas. I also noticed other creatures flying into space above everything. Most intriguing were the two-legged creatures that looked the same as you and you do, and how they interacted with each other. I thought, I really want to go down there and check this out more closely. So here I am. Are you gonna let me on the planet? To go on this planet, dear soul, you need to have faith. Faith? What is that? <laughs> faith. Yang, this is another one of those innocent spirits that knows nothing at all about this planet. Yes, Yang. We will definitely have to give this dear spirit an orientation hmm. uh, before we allow it on our planet. Yes, I agree. Dear soul, faith can be interpreted in many ways. Hmm. For our purpose, with you right now, faith, faith is a belief that everything on this planet is exactly as it should be. Hmm. Plus, you cannot experience the bounty of planet Earth without wearing a human body. Everything we tell you will be encoded in the DNA of your spiritual mind. Oh. It will be classified as your knowing. This knowing will not be immediately available to you when you arrive on the planet. Oh. However, it will gradually come to mind as you evolve, dear soul. 
you will encover, pardon me, you will encounter things you've never experienced before because this planet is governed by the laws of duality and causality. Duality and causality? What, are, what does that mean? Duality means that everything on this planet has an opposite. It's like a tall plant and a short plant, a big rock and a small rock, good and bad, right and wrong, weak and strong, and more. You will experience the duality of thoughts while you explore this planet. Duality of thoughts? What does that mean? There will always be two ways to look at anything and everything. And this should, and I, I say should, cause you to continuously question hmm. everything until you find answers that resonate within you. Hmm. Dear soul, you will also learn how causality works. For example, causality is a this causing a that. Hmm. Take a look down there. You see the yang and the yin models connecting their bodies? Hmm. They will experience tremendous pleasure. Hmm. And this experience will cause the yin models to start making human bodies in their bellies. Right now, there is a human body being made just for you for when you arrive on planet Earth. You mm. see, this tremendous pleasure is the this that is causing the that, which is a human body. Mm. This is just one example. Do you understand what Ying is telling you? I think so. Yes. This is all very interesting. When you arrive on planet Earth, you will immediately enter the human body that is being made just for you. Mm. When you come out of the yin's belly, wearing that new human body, you will not know where you are, how you got there, where you're going, and you will not know why. Mm. On top of all of that, you will have forgotten that you're a spirit. Oh you will only be able to identify with and perceive everything through the senses of your new human body. Wow. Mm -hmm. in, uh, you will in time to also discover that human bodies uh, don't last very long. They get sick and die, or they get old and die. Hmm. After that happens, uh, you will choose a different human body to continue exploring the bounty of planet Earth. And this process will continue to happen over and over again, mm. enabling you to experience everything possible while in different human body every time. And you will not be able to leave this planet until you have learned everything there is to learn here, while conforming to the laws of duality and causality. Wow, that sounds very complicated. Yes, it is complicated. This is why God prepared a gift for you to have before you go on this planet. A gift? Oh a my gift. goodness. What is this? What is this? I don't know what that is. <coughs> Open the box, dear soul. What do you mean, open the box, dear Yin? How do you open this thing? Wow! What is this contraption? This contraption is a human mind, which has 12 intellectual drives that will serve you to make choices and decisions while you experience being in a human body on planet Earth. Well, well. Each light represents a different intellectual drive. Hmm. Do you mean to say that I will have two minds when I'm on planet Earth? Yes, I do. Hmm. At first, your spiritual mind will go semi-dormant. 
the part that will remain awake will be known as intuition. Your human mind will be empty of knowledge and it will be on its own to learn how to discover the bounty of this planet while it learns how to use a human body. This is where these 12 intellectual drives will serve you to perceive what you need to learn through your human body senses. For the most part, it will be your choice to decide which drive you want to activate in the moment. How will I know which drive to activate in the moment? It looks very complicated. <laughs> most of these drives will kick in uh, <laughs> following the thoughts you have in the moment and what you feel in the moment. Feel in the moment? What's that about? Feel in the moment means you will experience emotions hmm. that will connect you to your inner faith and what you need to learn in the moment. It is said that faith is intrinsic within the mind of every human being. Hmm. It operates within each of us. We are admonished have faith, but actually we cannot have faith. Faith is fundamental to our nature. To have faith usually means to focus our faith on a particular, in a particular direction. Yet faith is always operating in our consciousness, no matter how doubtful or how fearful we may feel. Well, I can see that faith is uh, very important to understand life in a human body. Life in a human body, can you imagine that? Can you tell me more about the intellectual drives? Yes, we can. <coughs> and before that, let us tell you a few other things the human mind is made of. Your human mind is equipped with a unique functions hmm. to forget and to remember. The human mind also has built-in intelligence of its own that organizes the accumulated knowledge in its own memory banks. The human mind is also subjected to follow a consciousness program called ego. This program is an integral part of consciousness where all the knowledge of creation since the beginning of planet Earth's creation is recorded. The human mind inherits this knowledge and uses it as a source of education for its own evolution. To accommodate the function of duality, the ego program has an automatic default switching of thoughts feature that automatically imposes upon the human mind the existence of opposites to spiritual thoughts. You will learn more about ego once you are on the planet. Another function of the human mind is that it has the capacity to imagine. That capacity to imagine opens the doors to the fertility of ideas that grow from the knowledge stored in consciousness. There are two imagination portals one portal gives the human mind access to information and knowledge stored in the lower consciousness. And the other imagination portal provides the human mind access to spiritual information and knowledge stored in the higher consciousness. Well, why is there a lower and a higher consciousness? It is because planet Earth is governed by the laws of duality, hmm. which means that there must be two consciousness to explain duality. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. About the 12 intellectual drives. Dear soul, for the purpose of encoding the basic information in the DNA of your spiritual mind, we will only tell you for now what the 12 
intellectual drives are called without any detailed information about them, which will be yours to figure out during your adventures on planet Earth. The 12 intellectual drives are the drive to perceive, the drive to control, the drive to learn, the drive to survive, the drive to evolve, the drive to choose and decide, the sex drive, the drive to create an event, the drive to destroy, the drive to be spiritually curious, the drive to understand, and the awareness drive. Now that all this information is encoded in, your, in the DNA of your spiritual mind, you're ready to embark on your earthly adventure, dear soul. Enjoy the journey of exploration, and we will see you again when you get to the back door of planet Earth. Dear Unity friends, this concludes our presentation for today. In our next presentation, our panel will discuss the correlation of the 12 human mind drives with the 12 powers of man by Charles Fillmore. Now let us close with a short meditation. you all to connect take a deep breath so we take that de breath in and let it go and we do that again another deep breath into the belly let it go and now we're going to go into the faith garden today you will see hear feel or know a path appear in front of you. And we're going to walk on that path to the garden, through the garden. In the distance, you will see a bench or a piece of grass that we're going to go to and sit and connect with faith. So as we take our first steps on this path, taking the beauty around you in this garden. Everyone's garden will look a bit different. Are there butterflies? Is there a stream trickling? Is there a meadow with flowers, mountains? And we're getting closer to the bench now, just a short distance away. 
their smells, fragrances. And now we've arrived at the bench. Have a seat. And I ask you to connect with faith, the inner faith. Faith has a message, a unique message for each one of us here today. And as we connect with that, you can also ask a question if you choose. Connect with that inner faith. And we're going to just be silent for a moment as we connect and listen for that message that wants to be given to each one of us here today. So that message is getting downloaded. Whether you receive it as a message in this now moment is not important. It will come. Even with this garden, it's a place we can always visit and come back to. Connect with faith, our guides, our team. It's a sacred spot for each one of us. We thank you for coming today. And now, as we get up from our bench, I invite you to give gratitude to every thing that showed up in this journey in the garden. And we'll walk back on the path back to connecting with ourselves in this physical realm, the seat you're in, bringing yourself back into that body, connecting. With love, faith, and joy, thank you. And you may open your eyes when you're ready.